Okay, good morning, students. We're going to start with World's End. Uh, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to uh, Google Classroom, click on Unit 2 World's End, and I want you to click right here and I want you to open up the document. Now, um, unfortunately, I created this document before I required you to do grammar and writing and achieve 3000 after the bell ringer. Um, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to achieve 3000 and of course you go to achieve 3000 by going to clever, click on achieve 3000 and open up achieve 3000. Please remember if it has a blue star here, then that means that you are required to do it. Um, if you click on one of these buttons located at the top here, you will get a list of all of the texts that you have been assigned uh, by me and all those texts need to be read. Okay, and so um, I'm going to pause the video and we are going to do Achieve 3000. Okay, so now that we finished Achieve 3000, let's go and do um, Lesson 1.1, Doomsday Plane Ready for Nuclear Attack. Okay, so what you're going to do there is you are going to go to your ebook, um, which is page 143. Um, this video is not in your... Uh, physical soft cover textbook so you will have to watch the video and the way that you watch the video is you go here and you scroll down and you click on Savas Realize Worlds in Unit 2 Introductory Activities and you will land here and you will open up uh, the launch activities. and you will watch the video you will watch the video um, and after you watch the video you will answer this question why should or should not the government keep a doomsday plane or similar resource in continuous operation and where do i want you to answer that question i want you to answer that question on this page Okay, so uh, let's pause the video and have you guys um, do this. Okay, thank you. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to move to lesson two point, I'm sorry, 1.2, and that's the academic vocabulary. Um, yes, you do have the academic vocabulary in your textbook, but I prefer that you do it here on this digital uh, format. Now, what you will do is that you will co complete this entire chart. You will read each word, its root, and the mentor sentences, and you will read the mentor sentences. Use the information and your own knowledge to predict the meaning of each word. So you will look at the root word, you will look at the mentor sentences, and then you will predict the meaning. You will, you will put the dictionary, I'm sorry, you will put your definition of the term under predict meaning. And after you do that, um, you will um, find two related words that are related to this word. So the word that we have here is innovate and think off the top of your head, the word innovation, innovative, innovatively. And if you're having issues with finding root words, what you can do is you can go to MarianWebster.com and MarianWebster.com will give you um, will give you words that are similar. So innovator, inventor, inventor, innovatory, inventory. Uh, make sure I'm saying inventory. Inventory. Okay. Thank you. Uh, to make sure that you're spelling that right. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause the video and you guys are going to work on the chart. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to um, use your soft cover textbook and we are going to listen to Dreams of Winter. Um, 
As we are listening to Dreams Winter, I want you to be taking notes in your soft cover textbook about the story because we will be um, filling out this plot diagram for the story as well. Okay, and we're going to do that as a class together. So I'm going to pause the video and we are going to watch Dream and we're going to read Dreams Winter. Okay, students, what we're going to do now is we are, as a class, we are going to do this plot diagram. And yes, you have to fill out this entire chart. We, together, are going to fill out this entire chart. So let's go. Okay, students, welcome back. What we're going to do now is we are going to answer this quick right question. Consider the classroom discussions, the presentations, the video, and the launch text as you read about the prompt. Record your first thoughts here. What I want you to do is I want you to answer this question. Which matters more, the present or the future? And when you answer those questions, I want you to keep the classroom discussion in context, the presentation, the video that you watched on the doomsday plane, and the launch text into consideration when you answer the question, which matters more, the present or the future? Okay, I'm going to pause the video and you guys are going to answer that question. Where do you answer that question? On this page right here. Now, if you need a rough draft paper, please remember that you have blank pages in your soft cover textbook in the back. Okay, what I want you to do now is I want you to have an experience and I want you to go to Edpuzzle. And there are two ways to go to Edpuzzle. You can do it right here or you can do it right here. Okay, either way, it's going to lead you here. And what I want you to do is I want you to put in your headphones and I want you to look at this animation and I want you to answer these questions that deal with the last day uh, of the city of Pompeii. And I want you to um, pay attention to what you see and to what you hear, okay? And once you finish with the video, you are now able to turn in um, your lesson one, and then we will move on to lesson two. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.